Welcome back, everyone. It's another great day today. You're watching Wicked Sources, your number one stop for caniculture info and so much more. You get the idea. So let's jump in to the news. So today we're going to talk about HR 2339. You might be wondering, what is that? Well, sources say, <laughs> well, the sources are showing that it's gaining some steam. We've been covering this for a while. It's a flavor ban. Initially, we thought this was more about flavored um, vape products and vape devices, but it's looking like it's en encompassing a lot more. So it's called Reversing the Youth Tobacco Epidemic Act of 2019. And as I said, as you're seeing here, it's starting to gain some steam as there's more and more co-sponsors. We don't know how this thing is going to turn out, but a lot of the products it's going to cover is basically like flavored blunts, blunt wraps, hookah tobacco, hookah sheesh, tobacco and non-tobacco, uh, vape juice and salt, nicotine and non-nicotine, and disposable vapes. Pretty much everything flavored. So we don't know how this will turn out, but I would urge you, if you are a part of this community, to go out and be proactive. Find your representative and spam the shit out of them. So at the end of this video, I'll link some information in the description so that here in California, you can reach out to your own representatives and spam the shit out of them. So all things considered, we should be thinking about number one, our rights, because we are adults and we should be able to consume what we want within a certain parameter or ramification. The next is, um, I don't know about you guys, but there's no mention of um, alcohol flavored. Wait, what? Sorry, I meant flavored alcohol products. So there are flavored alcohol products and we do know that young people get their hands on them. Let's face it, banning doesn't work. Young people will get their hands on whatever it is they're trying to get. And this will most likely drive a deeper underground market. Um, you, know, call, you know, will probably cause more problems than it's worth. So, and finally, I can say this, to keep it short and sweet for everyone, because I understand these uh, news videos can get a little long sometimes. Let's just say, maybe it's still, we should consider ourselves lucky, I think, that maybe they'll let us keep tobacco flavor and menthol flavor. Yum, right? So again, be proactive, get out there, make some phone calls, send some emails, and spam your representatives. If uh, you think this is unjust, like I do and many people do, and it's not just because of the industry that we're in, it's just simply um, we consume the same products. We know they're safe and there's a lack of education, number one, a lack of interest on our leaders to um, want to actually identify the problem and narrow it down and fix it. It's, a, uh, it's an education problem. So anyways, that pretty much wraps up the video. What do you guys think about this? Leave those comments down below. Now, I would say that yes, nicotine is addictive and we should prevent the youth from using it. But prevention is done with education. I can't stress that enough. Wicked Sources, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.